Hello guys, Sean Thompson here and welcome back to another video. Last night we parked up in the 75 and what a view it was. When I came here all I could see was these trees and this grass. But when I woke up this morning, man, what a view. That is absolutely stunning. Anyways, let's have a little look at the load. Uh, we have been on building sites all week, as you can probably tell by the mud on everything. First up, we've got a van for Ayrshire. Then we've got this for Newton Stewart. And then we've got this for Glasgow. This is already crash damaged. Um, just in case anybody has a go at me, I strung it up. But if you want to see the last video, it should be episode 60. Bye. Right, let's get on, get these offloaded. And get Thursday and Friday on the go. Let's go. I'm actually quite impressed how that sat there. Quite nice as well. There we are, all reloaded. Beautiful. Look at this day, this thing, man. Disgusting. Look at it. Fucking hell. Anyway, we got diesel, get this first van dropped off, and then put the cash one up the deck. Fire on. All right, we're here at the back load. We are being watched, so I'm trying to just record discreetly. We'll just get the first van off, get the one we picked up in Cornwall, and then repeat. There we go, that is the van all the way from Cornwall to the Tell you something, I've never once had to deal with a digger with these things still on. <laughs> Look how weird it looks. <laughs> Anyways, here we are at back load, we're just going to get these shutters off and get loaded. Oh, there she's there, two buckets as well. But it's got a bit of this big grab thing, hopefully I can just grab the buckets from that. I've worked out why, uh, why the, fucking, the window hangs are on, because the pier. Doesn't actually hum a side window. Okay, look how cool this is, look. A wee bit jumpy, right, but look. And then you can just pull this lever. Oh, it's not going to work now. Is it this one? Ah, fucking. That's you got the bucket. <laughs> banging, mate. I'm banging. There she is, all loaded. Hit knuckles, pure high. Right. That is that digger off loaded. So I didn't get any content. Uh, I, you know what I mean? I, I told the boy I'd be there for lunchtime. It's now half two, three, so I'm two hours late. So I'm sure you can understand. I just wanted to get it there and get it done. The boy was happy enough, but I just didn't know what I'd be like. Fucking. Alright, mate, I know I'm uh, two hours late, but just hold on a minute while I get my camera out. But, anyways, now we're heading on a wee 38 minutes up uh, to Kirk and Tillock to drop this van off finally. And then potentially either reloading today uh, or Monday or reloading tomorrow. I'm still planning out what's gonna happen here. I want to see how long it takes me to get this van off and then where I'm going after that. So, uh, aye! There she is, all empty. Hopefully we get back loaded tonight. If we don't, that's what it is. Okay. Right, that is us back to the yard. Just parked here, a wee bit squint. Anyways, we'll come in tomorrow, fix the lorry. Not fix it, but just sort it out. We'll just get chains lying everywhere and all that shit. Um, fix all that, go pick up our back loads ready for Monday and uh, Get her a good old clean because she is dirty. Dirty. Oh. Alright, so it's Friday and we're doing a couple of wee jobs just before we fire out to load up for Monday. Uh, so we're just quickly downloading the tachygraph. So you put the special gold card in. We're waiting for that to download. We'll also download my card. Nice and easy. Pretty nice and quick. We can also see all the faults, but we'll not go through that. <laughs> There's no faults. And then we download the unit. There we go. All downloading. Lovely. That takes a wee while though. See if I told you what has just gone on 
you wouldn't believe me. So we arrived there to pick up a wee tractor and a forklift. Just as a wee back load for this big digger we're going to collect as well, right? Back camera in the truck isn't working this week, I'll need to fix it this weekend. I think the cable's maybe gone. Anyways, uh, loading the pallet up and the boy, just a wee bit too far forward, took the box off the winch, fused the entire lorry. Uh, Lorry's Anderson connection, sorry. So the ramps wouldn't go up and down and we spent ages about and fixing things and sorting things and trying to do this and trying to do that and try to just try to just try to get the ramps up. Um, eventually I hooked my battery box up to the ramps, my actual jump starter, and just run that as an independent battery. So it's obviously a lorry that's at fault. So I need to fix that this weekend. I went to pick up a forklift and a tractor. Anybody who does this job knows that it does not take four hours to do that. Honest to fing Christ, man. If you didn't laugh, you'd cry. And I'm due crying this week. Alright, so it's just after half five, and here we are. Here's a load here. We've got some bale spikes and some accessories in there. We've then got this big old forklift, uh, three and a half ton forklift. We've then got this 13 ton JCB 130X. And then if we come along here, you can see the buckets like that. That's all strapped down, lovely, nice and tight. Obviously, not that. I'm talking about the digger. So we've put the bucket right out to the left. And by doing that, that has given us enough room to fit on this wee thing as well. This wee micro digger, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to change that strap. Well, I've strapped it there. But realistically, I think I'm going to bring it over here so it's pulling into the digger. Um, not that it's moved anything yet, but I mean, it can't go any far, th further forward. So if that one's wedging that right in, then it can't go back. But I'll sort that out in the morning. But anyways, we've detached the trailer. Um, Keith's coming in tomorrow, he does maintenance on the lorries on Saturday, so I've asked him to look at my Anderson, uh, he is a mechanic, um, so I've asked him to look at my Anderson, um, and I'll come in tomorrow as well, clean the lorry, uh, sort the lorry out, get some new chains and stuff to, to kind of tidy away, and so just leaving the trailer here, and then that's the unit there. So hopefully, we know it's the Anderson connection that's not working on my lorry, so I'm hoping it's quite a quick fix, I'm hoping it's maybe just blown a fuse, or something along those lines. But uh, I'm sure Keith will work it out tomorrow. But I'll be in tomorrow to give him a hand as well. So, in saying that, we'll see you all tomorrow. Ford! <coughs> Ford! <coughs> Ford, where, <coughs> Ford, where are you? <coughs> Ford, I can't find you! <coughs> Ford! <laughs> You're alright, buddy. <laughs> what a dog, man, what a dog. I only get him on weekends, huh? All right. We've well, found the problem. This little fuse here, this little mega fuse 175, although the replacement valve wasn't open today, so we've had to go with these. And that goes right. Oh! oh I thought it shocked me there, but I must have just hit a bit of metal. But that sits right there. And of course, that supplies the Anderson cable. Obviously, we've got to help us today as well. And the trailer is all detached. Ready to go. I don't think I've showed you the load properly. There you go, all installed. Let's fix, hope it's fixed the problem. You want a drink? Of course you can. This is finally getting a spark back in her Anderson, which means that that works. Now, it's time to undo all this, because she is, uh, well, she's been working hard this week, hasn't she? Look at the state here. Disgusting. Oh, look at that. Absolutely stunning. Nice and clean, ready for next week. I've not bothered cleaning the trailer. Hey, I can't be bothered, so the trailer's manky, but we'll fix that. And what I noticed was, obviously, I'd cleaned the side of the jail bike, but I've obviously not uh, <laughs> done the other side, so I'll quickly get a microfiber out and just, you know, clean them off, because... <laughs> you can kind of see the difference there. Anyways, I uh, filled up Ad Blue. You hear me? Aye. Aye, good. Well, that's it all fixed. That button works now. Beautiful. Beautiful. A tractor and a forklift. We've got a forklift, a tractor and a digger. What are you doing up there, Sam? Just covering the winch. Yeah. If we just go along, yeah, you'll see it better. Um, that's a big one. <laughs> I think you want to see this big puzzle. I think I'm a tractor driver. And I'll show you, tell you we dog. What's a unicorn with no drugs? With no horn. A horn? <laughs>
Now, a few months on top the day, and let's go in the rain for a bit. Right. The forklift doesn't move. Right, so I'll hold this bit. You pull that and let it go. Yeah. Right, pull. Hold on. Say bye, dear. Tighter. We've been Thompson here. That's it, keep going. Yeah. And we're going to pull this all day long. Bang! Start tightening down the, the load. Yeah, right. just wrap and tighten the load. Keep going. It's got to be tighter so it doesn't move. Yeah, we have to get really, really tight. Can you hear the forklift moving? No. You not hear it creaking? No. That's you securing it to the deck. Right, keep going. That's it, keep going. That's it, and again. That's not going anywhere. That's it. I am rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Oh, I'm die. Rolling. Right, that nice and safe now. You're happy with that, Phoebe? Chain there, chain there. Oh, that one's a wee bit loose now. Dad, Dad, Dad. That's my name. Hurry up and roll that up, come on. No. That's good. Hi, good. The first employee of Sean Thompson Transport. Hello, Sean Thompson Transport speaking here. You're making fun of me? Why? <laughs> because I just introduced myself. Why do you say, hello, my name's Phoebe? No, no, quick, come on. That sounds when you flap it, it helps. Oh, does it? Mm. Because it lets you see. <laughs> what do you like? There we are, everything's loaded, everything's fixed, ready to go. And that is the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And if you want to see me deliver this, it will be in the next episode of YouTube. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.